Ashley, you've got to stop blaming yourself. I'm not. But I couldn't just stand by, could I? I had to get a doctor's here, didn't I? Of course you did. She needed help. That's it. Medical help, it's what she needed. Honest, though. She looked at me like a bitter. Well, she'll thank you when she gets better. I hope so. Anyway, I'll we'll get back to the shop. See you, mate. See you. Cup of coffee there for you. Right, cheers. Um, listen, I know you didn't feel like writing that letter to Wakeley, so I've written one for you. I told you, you All you've to... got to do is sign it. Why don't you listen? I don't want to write to him. You haven't listened to a word I've said, have you? I don't want to be his pen friend. He killed your dad, for God's sake. It's horrible and it's creepy. You're taking this all wrong. I won't pretend I like him. I won't send him a picture and I won't say that I always see each other. Oh, it doesn't exactly say that. Well, that's what it means. I told you all this before. I thought you understood how I felt. <laughs> OK, it's no big deal. Let's just forget about it. You give us that photo, then. Because if you don't feel happy with it, then... This is how I feel about it. OK, fine. Right, I'm going to work, and you better get ready for college. Look, I know you've had a lot on your plate with college and everything, but can't we please just forget about him? Sure. Leanne? You fancy making a brew while we're quiet? Yeah, OK. Peter, mm. did you know Nick's dad? Brian? Yeah, of course I knew him. Why? Oh, Nick says I'm not to talk about it. Oh, well, we're better not, then, eh? I suppose not. He was murdered, weren't he? Yes, he was, when Nick was just a little lad. Oh, Rita, I'm going to have to tell you. I'm worried. The man who killed Nick's dad is due to come out of prison soon. Is he, by it? So that's what a life sentence comes down to nowadays. Well, anyway, Nick got me to write to him in prison because he's seen him, you see. They let him out to give some kind of talk at Nick's college. So Nick got me to write this letter as if it were me who'd seen him at the college. Nick got you to write a letter to the man who killed his dad? Yeah, so I did. Not letting on about Nick's dad are out, just to, well, you know, get friendly with him. Friendly? Yeah. Well, then he sent this letter back, and then Nick wants me to write again. But this time, send a photo as well. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. What does Nick think he's playing at? What the hell did you tell her for? It was a secret. I'm sorry. She had no right to do that. She had every right, Nick. Well, can't you see? The girl's worried sick about you. And frankly, so am I. I... I don't know what all this fuss is about. Nick, listen to me. I've known you since you were a baby. I'm a friend. 
Will you tell me what you think you're doing? Trying to get friendly with this man. He killed your dad, for God's sake. I know. I hate him. So what the hell were you hoping to achieve? Me? What were you planning on doing if you met him? Nick, just talk to us, please. My dad's dead, but in a couple of weeks, he, he's going to be out of prison, he's going to be wandering around free. Yes, I know. But what I'm asking is, what are you trying to do? Getting Leanne to write to him? I, I just wanted to keep tabs on him. I don't know, so I could some, somehow... Trap him in some way? That's it, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. And then Leanne would be what every good trap needs. The bait. Oh, I wasn't thinking of it like that. All right, maybe it was the wrong thing to do. I'm sorry. It's all right. Thanks, Rita. She was right to tell me. I mean, you must see that. I mean, if this man found out you were playing with him, it could turn very nasty. He could take it out on Leanne. And we all know what he's capable of, don't we? Yeah, well, it's all right now, because it's all over. Oh, it's, it's not. <laughs> There's something you should know. You, you know you tore up that letter? Well, I, I typed another one out for you at college, and I signed your name to it. Oh, Nick, just tear it up, please. I, I can't. I posted it an hour ago. Did you put this address on it? Yeah. And I'm sorry, Lee, but I put your photo in it as well. Would it make any difference if I told you why? Well, I accidentally put this picture of my wife in with it. What difference would it make if you just didn't give it him? Well, if anything happens, it's your fault. Oh, I've tried everything. What more can I do? Well, why did you do it in the first place? All right, it was wrong, I've said. But I've done my best. Jonathan, all right? Right, well, I'm off to work. Only for my own in mind. Dinner time, Mrs. Grimes is watching the shop while I go and visit Zoe. I hope she's feeling better, mate. Yeah, tell her we were asking after her, yeah? I will. Thanks. Right, tell her. I'll see you when I see you then. Oh, see you. I'm scared. Oh, he's in prison. What can he do? Well, any time soon, he'll be sticking my photo on the wall. Come on, then. Get that down. Look, don't we bring the prison? See if I can get somebody more helpful this time. Well, they're not going to stop the letter, are they? They can make phone calls from prisons. I've heard them on phone-ins. Could get our number. I don't suppose you thought of that, did you? Well, how? Director inquiry. It's listed under Elliot. I signed the... I signed the letter Leanne Battersby. Oh, no. I told you I couldn't sign it Tilsley, could I? Well, if he does try directory inquiries, Battersby... Coronation Street, he'll get me dad. He won't ring, he'll write. If my dad finds out, he'll kill you. And anyway, how do you know he's gonna write? Just, just think he will. He could be released soon. Could turn up on the doorstep. I've been thinking, maybe we should move. But he's got me photographed now. He could spot me anywhere. Oh, I 